Welcome all the play The Rivals by Richard Brinsley Sheridan. In this video, we are going to see The Rivals as an anti-sentimental comedy. Richard Brinsley Sheridan Richard Brinsley Butler Sheridan was born on 30th of October 1751 and died on 7th of July 1816 where he was an Irish playwright and poet and a long-term owner of the London Theatre Royal Drury Lane. He is known for his plays such as The Rivals, The School for Scandal, A Trip to Scarborough for 32 years. He was also a Whig member of the British House of Commons for Stratford during the year of 1780-1806 and Westminster during the year of 1806-1807 and Alchester during the year 1807-1812. He was buried at Poets Corner in Westminster Abbey. The next topic is anti-sentimental comedy. Artificial comedy is another name for the comedy of manners which reached the height of its achievement during the restoration in England. In the history of the British drama, the comic genius of the genius of the British nation has expressed itself in several distinct forms. Its most striking manifestation are romantic comedy, comedy of humors, comedy of manners, and etc. Main and major characters of this play are Sir Anthony Absolute, a wealthy country gentleman who assumes that those around him will naturally obey his wishes. He who has a ter terrible temper, but it, it is also quick to forgive. Captain Jack Absolute, Sir Anthony's son, he is enamored of Lydia Languish and has disguised himself as Azin Beverly in order to win her hand. Despite the revelation of his deception, he and Lydia wind up together. Fag Jack says us, gentleman's gentleman. He often carries messages and transmits information. Julia Melville, Sir Anthony's ward and Lydia's cousin. She is in love with Falkland. She is easily the most sensible of the four young lovers in the story. Mrs. Malaprop, elderly aunt of Lydia, who controls her fortune, she butchers the English language in accordance with her name. Captain Jack Absolute, Ben's love of Lydia language, a young aristocrat, opposes his marriage, challenges him to duels, Misunderstanding with his fiancée, Jack wins fair Lydia. Lydia languish, stuffed with a fantastic adventure. She cannot bear to marry anyone in her own class. She learns that Jack is in the penniless as in Beverly. She is greatly impressed when she learns that he is to fight a duel because of her. And he wins her hand. Mrs. Mala propose. Lydia's aunt, chief comic figure, eccentric treatment of the English language. She always uses incorrect words like as pencil for pineapple, geography for geometry. Opposes Lydia's intention to marry Jack. And that malapropism is the word it uses of an incorrect word similar sound utterance that is called as malapropism. Sir Anthony Absolute, he arrives in suddenly bad. Jack's strong willed father, Jack marry the woman Sir Anthony selects, and he only obeys the wishes of his father. Jack refuses to obey his father's edict, but here, until he learns that Sir Anthony has chosen Lydia to be his son's wife. Bob Ares and Sir Louis O'Trigger. Bob Ares, an unfavorable country square, challenged Beverly to a deal. The timid square is greatly revealed that no duel will be necessary. Sir Louis O'Trigger, a brash Irishman, he is corresponding Lydia. He challenges Jack to a deal. He learns Lydia never interested in him. And this is the story's character's map of it and who was loving whom and who was loving whom the uh, map was given. So it will be very clear for your understanding. So have a look at this map. Then we shall move to the summary of the Rivers play. The Rivers is a comedy of manners, a farce of mistaken identity that has much in common. 
Goldsmith's She Stoops to Conquer, which came out two years earlier, like Goldsmith's comedy. A main character, Masquerades, has more some, someone of a lower class to gain romantic advantage. The young lovers must overcome the interference of a country pumpkin and an elderly rich aunt. And the second couple provides a subplot and foil to the main romance, perhaps the most mem- memorable character. In the revels is the elderly aunt Mrs. Malaprop who cons- consistently blushes the English language taking her name from the selects uh, in which she so frequently engages after the first performance of the revels it was panned by the critics and Sheridan hastily revised is it is in less than 2 weeks shortening it by over an hour making some of the characters more sympathetic and cleaning up the language after which it was praised enthusiastically sheridan's intention was to poke fun at the sentimental comedy of the time we find both falkland and julia absurd the true character of falkland is indicated to use us by absolute description of him as the most teasing captious incorrigible lover Falkland's own description of this of his state of mind about his beloved Julia also makes him appear absurd. He says that every hour is an occasion for him to feel alarmed on Julia's account. If it rains, he feels afraid lest some shower, shower should have chilled her. If the wind is sharp, he feels afraid lest a rude blast should adversely affect her health. the heat of the noon and the dews of the evening may endanger her health all this is funny and is certainly not to be taken seriously sheridan is here ridiculing the excessive solicitude and concern which an over sentimental lover like falkland experiences when separated from his beloved sheridan seems to be pleading for mental equilibrium even in the case of an ardent lover The manner in which the other characters have been portrayed is also evidence of the anti-sentimental character of the play. Captain Absolute is a practical man and though he assumes the name and status of Elsin Beverly, he would not like to force the rich dowry which Lydia will bring him. Mrs. Malaprop is a conventional practical woman whose attitude to marriage is business like Sir Anthony is a practical worldly man. Bob Acros is a country boy with no romantic or sentimental pretensions but towards the end of the play he shows that he is more practical than anybody else by saying if i can't get a wife without fighting for her by a valve i will live as a bachelor the summing of, uh, up of this uh, play sheridan models but the restoration matters who in their comedies were guided by a witty humorous and satirical portrait of the society children also writes in the same vein as equally satirical in characterization witty and brilliant in his dialogues and this is the end of the choice of children's play the rivals and its methods was given in this video thank you